So a new round of polls here, Democrats getting pummeled on virtually every issue. This is really something. So this is from the Winston Group um, and uh, Political Polls tweeted this. Who would do a better job handling the economy? Republicans, 46%, plus 7 over the Democrats. Gas prices, Republicans, 47%, plus 12 over the Democrats. Inflation, Republicans, 46%, plus 12 over the Democrats. The supply chain, Republicans, 43%, plus 7 over the Democrats. Democrats are getting trounced. Now, by the way, uh, this barely needs to be said, but most elections hinge on the economy and how the economy is doing. Um, and this is an area where it's a clean sweep for the Republicans on economic issues. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my life. The Democrats, on top of stripping their incredibly popular legislation day by day and making it worse and worse, they also have no message. What's the Democratic message? Please, I I'll wait. Go ahead. What do they stand for? What do they believe in? What are they currently fighting for? I'll wait. I don't hear anything coming from the Democrats. Nothing. Nobody's making an aggressive case for even any of the good provisions that remain in the Build Back Better bill. Nobody. Nobody. So now you're getting radio silence from Biden, who's a zombie. Kamala's approval rating is 28%, so they're hiding her. Mayor Pete's out there, you know, taking month-long paternity leave during the supply chain crisis when he's the transportation secretary and nominally he should be handling that. The Democrats are MIA, dog. MIA. Getting nothing done, having no message, and letting the Republicans do nothing in return, but also just have a clean sweep now in terms of the perception of the American people as to who would do better with the economy. I've never seen a party so pathetic in my entire life. The fact, look, the Republicans should be easy, the easiest people to beat on the planet. I mean, more than half the time, whenever they're talking about stuff, it's culture war bullshit. It's Dr. Seuss, it's uh, Mr. Potato Head, it's you name it. It's all nonsense. But since there's a, just a, a vacuum, a black hole on the Democratic side of saying anything, that stuff even lands more than whatever the Democrats are saying because they're not saying anything. So they're just being totally defined by their opponents. There doesn't appear to be any sort of serious plan. The only thing they were working on, the Build Back Better bill, looks either dead or like it's going to be cut even more. So what do we got? We got nothing. We got nothing. Guys, Tea Party-like bloodbath coming in the midterms, without a doubt, without a doubt, clean sweep on the economy. Now, by the way, it's actually not true, because what would the Republicans do with the economy? Well, we saw in 2017, they did more tax cuts for the rich. 83% of the benefits went to the top 1% in their tax cut bill. Okay, that's what they do. That's not going to help working people. So people are wrong in their perception to think the Republicans would do better with the economy. Wrong, but they believe it. You have... Uh, even on gas prices, I think uh, Biden tapped some of the U.S. reserves. I'm sure Trump would have done the same thing, so I don't see any real difference on that front. Uh, but Republicans are plus 12 just because they're viewed as more pro-oil and, and natural gas. On inflation, the whole reason for inflation is the supply chain. So for Republicans to get plus 12, when the supply chain issues started under the Republicans, they're just continuing under um, Democrats. I, I just... I, there's no reason to believe that they would do any better with this at all. Because all their broad commentary on capitalism and the free market, that wouldn't fix anything about the supply chain. The problem is you have incredibly high demand because people are ordering stuff online from home and incredibly low supply because the ports are clogged because they were clogged originally with COVID PPE stuff being sent everywhere and now they're clogged with other goods that people are ordering. So... It's not true that the Republicans would do a better job, but since the Democrats are totally MIA with any sort of messaging campaign or PR campaign about anything, here we are. So what we're seeing here in the Biden era is like the anti-FDR era. Because FDR came in, cleaned house, did the New Deal, materially delivered for people. Biden didn't and is also not messaging anything. So they're just coasting until they get clonked in the head in the next election. And that's definitely what's going to happen.